What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. If you don't know me, my name is Chance and this is my channel, Local Boy Finance, where we talk about personal finance, stock investing, and money saving tips. So in this video guys, we're going to be talking about why, or seven reasons why, I have not been investing in the stock market. I have been a little bit here and there as short-term positions, but I haven't bought in anything really long-term positions as of recently. And really, I'm going to give you seven reasons on why I feel so hesitant to do so and I expect a big, big pullback in the near future. All right, but other than that, please like, comment, subscribe, and enjoy the video. The little babies. Little babies are growing, little babies. All right, guys, so based on that, this is just my opinion on what I think is going on in the market and really what I've been doing as an investor myself and what I've been reading and basically what's in the news going on right on the market. So first things first, guys, uh, you've heard it on the news and also that the U.S. jobless claims in millions and millions again. Um, the last tally as of May 14th was a sum of almost 3 million. So basically 36.5 million, which is insane, guys. There's 36.5 million jobs lost. And that is a lot, a lot of people. And really, since we are consumers and we have a consuming economy, this is not good. Like, if, 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 everybody, if everybody is a consumer and basically is spending money across the board and we're not doing that and basically the economy is at a standstill, there's... There's no small businesses, you know, getting paid. There's not paying their employees. Obviously, the trickle-down effect, right, from, you know, businesses making money, going, paying their employees. They have to get rid of their employees, which is going on. And it's just causing a crazy economic crash. But, however, the stock market doesn't reflect that at all. And it's, it's quite concerning, first of all, okay? That's reason number one. Two thing, guys, is also the government is printing money called quantitative easing. And they're printing money and basically giving it away at mass quantities. And we have another stimulus check possibly coming out. It's in the Congress right now. I believe it just passed the Senate and is heading to the House. So we'll see what happens with that. But again, this is a very crucial, crucial uh, bill that has been proposed just because a lot of states and counties are getting destroyed by this um, this lack or the shutting down of the economy basically and po postponing it because of the virus and therefore a lot of these uh, state and local officials can't be paying uh, their you know employees and therefore in hindsight basically states and counties are so vulnerable that they might actually um, crash which is which is insane right your state and county um, you know employees are, are not going to be even employed which is basically the government the government the lower government and that is just crazy we, i don't think we've ever been like that in any situation where the federal government has to bail out even states and counties that's that's nuts and really as a county employee myself it's it's quite scary so again the reason number two you know the government is or the feds are just printing out money like it's crazy like it's candy and giving it away like it's like trick-or-treating on halloween you know it's it's nuts so again that's the second reason why i haven't really invested any of my cash into the stock market long term just because i expect more to come in the future all right guys reason number three since we're such a consumer type of economy what happens with the gdp it shrinks basically so the first quarter or this earlier this year u.s economics um, bureau reported a gdp of negative 4.8 i believe and the upcoming Q2 earnings um, sometime in June, August, uh, they're reporting possibly a negative 8 to negative 15 GDP, which is catastrophic, right? That is insane. We've never been in that situation ever. And again, the market is still going up, and which does not make sense, right? I mean, if the economy is shrinking, why would the stock market um, still be going up? I mean, the only reason why stocks go up in real hindsight is you know obviously they're they're reporting earnings and they're playing their annual report and they're making profits right why would a why would a company be re, be going up in stock price when obviously they aren't doing good like that doesn't happen like that doesn't make sense right and you can see that the feds are pumping money and i don't know why people are throwing money into the market right now there is some sectors however that are doing very well 
like the oil tanker business, for example. If you haven't watched that video, go watch it, go check it out about Matt stock. But anyway, <laughs> but anyway, so there's other opportunities out there, very short term, don't get me wrong. However, long term possibilities, there's no way you can put a valuation on it, which makes this even more an uneasy feeling, especially as a long term investor like myself. I mean, even the great Warren Buffett right now currently has not even put a dime into the market because of his 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 earnings. I mean, his uh, values, right? He's a value investor, so he he can't figure out certain values. He doesn't see the market as a buying opportunity. He's actually very fearful, and when that man is fearful, you should be a little bit hesitant yourself, just because. I mean, he's he's the the oracle, the big bambino. You know what I mean? So he's he's the legend. So why would a legend like that, that has been in the game for so long? Be so fearful and having and he has like one he has like 124 billion dollars sitting in cash and he hasn't bought anything so again be very fearful of what's going on so that's the third reason the gdp is getting getting worse and almost double or triple which is which is nuts so again that's my third reason why i haven't bought into the market yet guys we're going to dive into a couple charts here and we're going to talk about the nasdaq and the s p 500 and basically we'll start with the nasdaq first you're looking at this chart here and basically, the Nasdaq was trading above 9,500 9, before this whole crisis started back in early March. And look where we are now. We're at 8,900, okay, which is basically around 800 points difference, which is insane. Like that, that is, does not make sense. Again, right? If if we're doing as well as we were, how is all these companies are reporting trash earnings? Like trash. Fortnite freaking Call of Duty trash can. Like that does not make sense, okay? Again, if we look at the S&P 500 as well, they're in the same boat, right? We're basically around 700, 600 points behind from what the, the all-time highs was back in early March. Right now, currently it's 20, uh, 2,800 and back then it was 3,300, right? It doesn't make sense. How, how, how can companies that have been making zero revenue for the past two or three months and the Nasdaq and S&P 500, the S&P 500 is basically the top five 100, 500 companies in the world. And they're, some of them are getting cracks. And the S&P 500 is almost at 3,000, which doesn't make sense. Like that, It's baffling, right? It's baffling. So again, that's another reason for me of why I'm not buying into the market yet. And I'm holding cash long term. Now, my sixth reason is obviously this upcoming Q2 earnings are going to be trash. Trash, trash, Call of Duty, Fortnite, DBZ fighters, trash, okay? And the reason why I say that is because Q1 earnings was trash. And Q1 earnings was just a getting a little bit of a hint of it in early March, right? So I think started closing down early March. They got a little bit of it at the back end. But now, April, May, June, like, it, it's going to be bad. They're making zero revenue. Hotel industry, hospitality businesses, trash. Small businesses making no revenue. Um, it, it's going to be so bad and I, again it reflects the GDP here so that is another reason six reason why I haven't bought into the stock market for a long-term position in anything right now and then lastly I have to talk about this too as well and not just because I'm fearful about it but it's just a reality of a pandemic is the fact that we get another wave of it coming back in okay so a lot of other countries and even in the states we've had <clears throat> spikes in the covid cases looking at texas new york you know wisconsin georgia and this is all from states that are opening up right now and currently and again a lot of people are against it just because they want the economy back they want to go you know go have a burger they want to go cut their hair and whatnot which is fine i mean i get it like nobody wants to be confined and you know it's it's a constitutional thing, right? But I'm not going to get into the gist of that. But again, for safety and health reasons, people want to stay inside and, you know, whatnot. But I guess for sanity's sake, people want to start opening up and the economy is getting worse if they don't. Therefore, people are going out, people are going to the beach, people are buying lunches, you know, more interaction. However, this is an issue that is currently happening as of today. And with that being said, I suspect, for me, in my personal opinion, just on how things operate around here and in the country and the state, the states is there's going to be another one. There's going to be a second wave. There's no way people can be 
so secluded to themselves without human interaction. And to be honest with you, a lot of people have already been, you know, protesting what's going on in different states. And I expect this to happen again. And therefore, if that happens again, I believe the stock market will absolutely be crashing through the floor to the floor. And it's, you know, obviously if you're sitting in cash, it's a great opportunity, but it's also sad because you see, you know, businesses and companies and small businesses, mom and pops businesses are, are failing or going bankrupt, right? I've had a few eateries are one of my favorite foods and, and whatnot, and they're all closing down because of what's going on. It's, it's sad, but you know, all you can do is try and support them. But again, if you got money for that, right? So everything is correlated with each other and it's, it's a sad thing, but I think we can get through it. However, this is just how I'm going to think about it and putting my money in the long term and what I think is going to do, uh, do well. And right now, currently, my game plan here is just to sit in cash and wait and just view from the, from the spectator, uh, from the bleachers, really. Uh, I do have a few positions in, in like oil tankers and, you know, some short term stuff that are doing well. However, I haven't put a buttload of money into the market just because of the, the craziness that's going on right now. So again, this is just my opinion, but really, you know, think about what I explained to you guys and think about what's going on. Does it make sense to actually throw money into the market when it's like super overvalued? Companies are reporting trash numbers, but yet they're going up. Does it make sense, man? Guys, I hope this gives you guys an opportunity to think about what I've been doing and this is my kind of my long-term strategy about what's happening. But just to give you a thought process of what I'm thinking currently right now and my you know strategy anyway. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed you know my seven reasons why I haven't bought any long-term positions in the stock market currently and why I'll be waiting in cash for quite some time. And really, this is just my opinion, and you know, this is just going off of facts going on from the news, really, and what I pointed out for you guys. But please do your own research, do your own homework, but this is just what I'm doing. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Liking the video helps this channel get recognized. Also comment, what are you guys' thoughts about this? And also, you know, comment about any type of uh, videos you would like me to make for you guys or want to talk about. And again, guys, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and click that notification bell just to alert you whenever I create new videos. But you guys take care. It's a beautiful Aloha Sunday. I'm getting ready for work tomorrow. I mean, the weather is beautiful here in Hawaii, and I mean, it's it's getting hot, it's getting back to summer times, but definitely I'll be hitting the beach right now, right, right after I make this video. But you guys take care, wash your hands, treat each other kindly, and you guys have a good one. Was it right? Was it wrong? Should I go? Well, I know I've been here for way too long. Took the pieces of my heart and I threw them on a song. Hit the bong, sing along if you feel me. Oh, we had so bad, yeah, it almost killed me. Looking for my